I remember telling my mom the first day, Mom, I did my first drop. I sent her a text and she freaked out, all caps letters. What do you mean you dropped? What do you mean? And it's just kind of window cleaner um, verbiage, you know. Every setup that you do is a drop on the building. So I gave my mom a little bit of a scare that day. Today we're working on 36 Park Lawn. It's a 44 story building. The tallest building I've worked on is the Scotiabank Tower. That was the uh, third tallest building in the city at that time. Now it's down the list, but that was a 75 floor building, 750 some odd feet. Kids just think you're Spider-Man or Superman. Well, they won't stop watching you, you know? You even pass their floor and then you look up and they're still right to the edge of the glass kind of looking down at you. You know, they're our biggest fans, so I, I give them the time of day and they bring out the passion for what we do. The dogs are uh, on guard duty. Cats just like to... Uh, move with your squeegee on the on the window. Sometimes going over the edge you'll grab a bee's nest or something and you'll see the birds up there with us and the and the spiders and what the spiders like to eat on the side. Have you ever uh, seen anything like surprising in windows? Honestly after so long of doing this, I just see glass. I've had a building where the gusts were 70 kilometers. I was on Queens Key and it was blowing me right over the Gardner Expressway. And I couldn't, I just had, I couldn't hold on to the building anymore. And I just had to go with it, take a break. And it was just pulling me over the Gardner Expressway. When the wind died down or the gusts died down and swing you back into the building where you could hold on and try and you know repel down more to get to the ground and then call it for a day. Because sometimes it happens where you encounter weather and you're already on the wall. Um, gusts, you know, fly through and you just have to get down and call it for the day, but You know, we work in rain, we work in uh, snow, we work in, you know, high winds. Those don't bother me as much as lightning. Lightning is number one. If I see lightning, I'm getting the hell down. <laughs> This system to clean the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Uh, they're painting the CN Tower using this system right now uh, to inspect bridges, wind turbines. Um, it's the same system. My name is Nick Blodens. I'm with Sky High Window Services slash Toronto Rope Access, and I'm a high-rise window cleaner. Uh, I'm the director of the company and the supervisor here. Hi, my name is Steve Benjamins and I shot this mini documentary with Burt McKinley for Village, a new Toronto publication. Village publishes a new original story every week about the people and places that make Toronto great. Stories like a beekeeper in Seton Village or a hidden restaurant in Little Italy. Village also publishes a weekly newsletter that briefs you on important news in the city, hidden gems, popular events, restaurants opening up, and anything interesting about Toronto. It comes out every Saturday morning. Village costs $3 a month to subscribe to, um, and if you'd like to subscribe, and I really hope you do, you can do so at itsonvillage.com. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this story about Nick Bloden's The High Rise Window Cleaner, um, and I hope you're enjoying your Toronto summer. Thanks.